I bought the tickets from ASAP tickets. Uh, if you bought a ticket from them or buying it or going to, don't go through them. It's not worth it. It's not worth the headache. They don't stand by the product. And I bought a ticket for $6,700. I can't get my money back. They won't honor it. It's really bad. So I'm telling everybody not to go through ASAP ticket. Go through some other one. Go through the airline to make sure you get it because ASAP tickets won't give you your money. That they're they're crooks, really. One thing they they was going they they said they would credit give you a credit for you have to use a year. That's nothing. Uh, that that's no good because you have to fly back and it costs so much money to fly over to stay over there. And the credit is no good. It's it's like giving you nothing. So uh, that there they said they give you credit is nothing. It's for people that travel all the time. It's all right maybe, but people like me that don't travel every four or five years, it's no good. We went to the Philippines for four months and we supposed our return ticket was April the 4th. And then COVID-19 come up. So uh, we thought we could stay at April the 4th. And the government, the Philippine government, the president said March the 21st was the last day. Uh, no, March the 28th was the last day we could get out of there. So we forward, uh, we called, uh, I had a ticket with uh, 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 the airline, and I called them, and they postdated it to uh, uh, the the twenty eighth. So we ha was going to get to the twenty eighth. So we thought it was all right. And then the government, the Philippines, said no. Twenty first is the last day we're going to let people go out international flights. So I want to get out of there. So me and my family. So I went and I. Couldn't get a hold of the airline, so I called ASAP and I said, well, I'll buy a new ticket because I want to get out so quick because I want to get out of there. So I called ASAP and they said, yeah, uh, the 21st, we can do the ticket and it'll cost you around $1,800. So we got the ticket. And just after I bought the ticket, the Philippine government came out again and said, no, uh, the 19th the last day. We're going to let international flyers go so they can go back to the home country. So they got to get a ticket then. So I called ASAP and they said, well, we got a new uh, thing on our, our website. It says free cancellation and free uh, rebooking the tickets because of this COVID-19. Because they know. And they said, you'll get a, you can use either ticket, book both tickets, and you can use either ticket. And get the money back for the other one. So I said, well, I'll book it. So it was a lot of money. It was $6,700. I couldn't believe it was that much. And I put it on the visa card, on her visa card. And uh, we were supposed to come the 19th. So about two hours after that, they, the government put on the news that they was letting the people go the 21st. Again, they changed it. So I called up, uh, It was his name was Ward, and I called up him and I said, well, I'll cancel it then, because he said I could cancel it and get the money back. But he said when he'd done it, he told me that I'd have to fill the cancellation form out so in time for them to get it. So when I found out, I called him right back. He wasn't in, and I left a message for him, email, and he sent me the form right away, and I sent the form in to him and, uh, to make sure he got it. And I got confirmation from them that they got the form in time. And Ward wrote me twice, two different times to make sure I, I sent that confirmation in, the, t the, the letter in to them to cancel the ticket. That way I get the money back. So I, he's, I, called, I called him back and I said, well, and then they changed the 21st. So I called him back and I told him that I would book it for the 21st and get the money back for the 19th because it was so much money. It was $6,700. So he said, make sure you fill that out. And he said, he hasn't got the doing with it. I'd have to call uh, customer service to get the refund. So I called customer service and I called him right up. And she said, yes, you'll get the refund in three days. We'll fill it out for you. So I, uh, I get it in three days on my credit card. So I said, well, I'll be back in Canada. So I'll call you in Canada. So she gave me her e email address. <clears throat> and uh, so I could write her when I get to Canada if I had to. 
So I got back to Canada, and when I got back, uh, I waited three days, make sure the three days is up, and I called, and they said, uh, I got a hold of somebody else, and they said, well, it's going to take a while, it's three to six weeks, because you got so many people putting in for the thing, but I'll get the refund within three to six weeks. So I waited three to six. I, I told the person, I said, I didn't mind waiting the three to six weeks as long as I get the refund. They said, no, you'll get it. So I uh, I waited for three to six weeks and I called them back and they said, uh, and then they said, no, we're only given uh, credits for the for the money. And I said, well, I don't want a credit because we're not going to fly back to the Philippines before five years before we fly back. And these credits are only good for a year. I said, I, I wouldn't agree. That. I said, you guys told me that I would get the money back. And that's why I booked it because I would get the money back. And then the woman wrote and told me the another one. She, she wrote me and I got confirmation of the email that they didn't know their it was Turkish Airlines. They had to go through. So it was Turkish Airlines. So, and they said they didn't know their policy. But that isn't my fault. They told me I'd get the money back. And I booked the ticket and I paid for it with my visa. So we thought we was getting the money back. And I thought for sure. And even Ward did thought I was getting the money back. Because he called, to, uh, emailed me to make sure I got the confirmation letter to fill it out, to cancel it in time. So I'd get the money. And why else would he call me? Because I, I didn't want to book the ticket for next year. So I planned on, I thought I was getting a refund and he thought I was getting a refund. So he wanted to make sure I, he was pretty good to go. He wanted to make sure that I was going to get the refund. And then they said, no, nope, no refund. And then last about, oh, a month ago, I got a, a call or a letter from Ward. And he said, well, I take $300 penalty on each ticket, which was $900, and I'll get the rest of the money back. And I said, and he, uh, I said, well, yeah, I, I'd rather do that than lose all the money. So I'd rather get 50 some hundred, 50, 600 back <clears throat> than lose all the money. So he said, okay. So I filled out that we take the $300 penalty. Uh, loss on the on each ticket with three tickets because me and my wife and the baby so we lose almost a thousand dollars but that was i agreed to it so we get the money back us but that wasn't what we agreed to when we bought it i get all the money back but i decided oh, well, i'll get 5600 back <clears throat> then he went and he said no uh i i texted him he said no they won't give the money back so we're not giving it back to you so so they wouldn't give me the money back. So here I am. Uh, I talked to the customer service. They're the one, the first one that told me I'd get the. Re and I kind of find it funny because the woman I talked to that told me I'd get it in three days. And then she gave me your email address and I wrote her back. And it said, uh, I said, I copied it down. It says, uh, Oh, it says, unfortunately, email address of the person you are trying to reach is no longer in service. Her email didn't work. I think they fired her. I'm not sure. But I think they got rid of her because she told me I'd get the money back or something. I don't know. But when I wrote her, I, I, I she gave me her email address. And it went to uh, ASAP So because they wrote me back and said that's no longer in service. So that woman did not have an email so she did not work for them no more i don't think the last i heard heard from asap ticket was from ward uh when i agreed to, to about a month ago to lose three hundred dollars uh penalized three hundred dollars a ticket so it'd be around nine hundred dollars and i accepted that i said yes i'll take it well he said it would cost me that much for a lawyer so i might as well take the three hundred dollars uh each ticket for nine hundred dollars because it costs a thousand dollars for a lawyer to go to small claims court. So I accepted it and I filled the form out and I sent it in to him that I accept the uh, fifty six hundred dollars back, fifty six eighty or something, or I don't know what it was right, exactly, but it was close to a thousand dollars they was going to keep for a penalty. But I accepted it and it was both three uh 
on your father's website, one of the ASAP uh, said they got the information and they're going to check into it, but I haven't heard back from them yet or anything. And I don't know if they just took that and just said that or what. I They might have just said it. They wrote back on your website and said that they got my information and stuff and it'll take them a while to do it, but uh, you're going to check into it now. They said before I get the money, this is that was back in March, and here it is. I never got it September already. So, so far, it's been about when I first uh fell on your website, they wrote me back and they haven't wrote back since. So, I don't know. I kind of take it a grain of salt. I, I don't really believe them after they lied to me so much, and I bought tickets from them before. So, uh, they said, uh, I told them I didn't buy it from the airlines. I bought it from them. And they said, well, you got such a good price on it. I didn't get no good price. $6,700 for a return ticket. Uh, that's a lot of money. But well, I, I kind of read their their comments after this happened. And a lot of people are very unhappy because they're in the same situation I am. Uh, but $6,700 is a lot of money to lose. If I lost $1,000 or so, I wouldn't I, I'd care. But I wouldn't say too much. But uh, you know, sixty-seven hundred is a lot of money to lose. I can't. People might be able to afford to lose it, but I can't afford to lose it. And uh, if if I don't get it back from them, it's gonna make a big, big difference.